Guys, one of the best Nike SB Dunks is finally going to be dropping. Jordan Brand's new release calendar is looking pretty solid, and Nike's crime problem is officially getting out of hand. Before we jump into the upcoming stuff, something we have to talk about is Nike Sneakers Day. I don't know why so many people are disappointed with Nike Sneakers Day. I mean, it's been so many years since anything really, really good has actually dropped. I mean, I put out a video telling you guys everything that was going to be dropping, so you guys knew exactly what was going to happen. For some reason, some people still thought that, you know, Jordan 1 lost and founds and the Nike SB4s were going to drop. One thing that I can say is that people out in the US might be a little bit more disappointed than people here in the EU because apparently for you guys out there, there was a lot less. In fact, I think only one or two sneakers actually released. So just to recap, here's what actually dropped on Nike Sneakers Day. We had a scratch release of the Nike Dunk Low University Red. We had the Jordan 1 Low Sashiko. This is a pair that I personally went for. This Air Max 1 World Made Korea, extremely limited, did sell we had the triple white Air Max Plus, and then of course the Moo Moo Footscapes. This was all the pairs that I spoke about in my video, so there wasn't any extras, and I told you guys don't really expect any extras. Or if any other region, tell me if you had anything different than this. I just feel like more people would partake in Sneakers Day if it had more limited stuff. But Nike Sneakers Day tends to focus on more live streams, more different events going on, rather than the actual sneaker drops themselves. Other than Nike Sneakers Day, the Off-White Air Force One Mid Sheet colorway dropped on September the 8th exclusively for you guys out in the US. Then apparently you guys had a shock drop of the Terra Squad Nike Air Force One loyalty. Either way, let's get into this upcoming news and let's kick it off with some releases that are right around the corner. Starting with the Nike Nocta Glide. These are finally going to be dropping September the 15th. I've actually seen the hype for this pair of shoes slowly increase. At least I've seen a lot more interest in this pair of shoes than when it first got revealed. The Nike SB Dunk Low Albino and Preto is going to be dropping on September the 23rd. This is a pair that we've spoke about quite a few times. One thing that the official images do not highlight though is the fact that this pair of shoes does have cutaway material. All of these extra laces that you're going to be getting with this pair of sneakers are on the underneath of this tan material that's on the exterior. Also dropping on September the 23rd is of course the J Balvin 3s and we just got official images. These are definitely gaining hype. I've seen a lot of people say that they want to get their hands on this pair of sneakers. I don't know if it's just the fact that the more you're seeing this pair of sneakers the more you're liking it. Look at that you even get some pretty cool insoles as well. It's not a bad box at all. It's again just along with the theme of this pair of sneakers. Either way, I'm pretty excited for this pair of threes. Now, this one's a little bit more random, but I know for a fact some of you guys are going to be going for this pair of shoes heavy, and that is the new Shrek Crocs. Look guys, if the freaking Lightning McQueen Crocs can sell out these things, I could just imagine are going to freaking fly. You've got uh, the whole Shrek theme going on with the color being this musty green. You've got Shrek's ears, and I believe it's that Shrek's nose as well. And honestly, it'd be pretty hilarious to rock these things. Now, these are going to be dropping in September. We don't have a specific release date, just at some point this month. Right, we've got a brand new updated release date for the Occult Wall Nike Air Max Plus collections. We've got three different colorways. We finally have a release date for September the 21st, but the blue one, which is actually a pretty nice color of blue, got an all over black pair, which with all of like the exoskeleton stripes moving up the side of the shoe, actually looks looks really, really cool. And then we've got this all over white pair. Speaking of Crocs, it's a little bit more opposite to what we just took a look at. Uh, this one is a little bit more boring. Jound and Crocs are doing a collaboration on the classic clock. Now this is actually going to be dropping this month and I don't really know too much about Jound as a brand. I only really know them for their collaborations with New Balance. It looks like a pair of Crocs with the Jound logo. That is it. And like with a lot of the New Balance collaboration, I feel like there's not too much that's Change. Now granted, this is the only image, so we can't see the entire thing. But yeah, these are gonna be dropping at some point this month. Right, we got two brand new Kobe leaks. The first one is coming in 2024. In fact, the summer of 2024. This is the Kobe 4 by Coastal. And this one actually looks pretty insane. It seems to have some kind of iridescent material with uh, the kind of snakeskin scales going across the toe box. But the next colorway is actually gonna be dropping this year, which is the Black Mamba. A very, very similar shoe to that one in the sense that it has all of the snake scales across the toe box. This one I think is actually a banger. Black Mamba, the snake, it goes well with this pair of shoes. I mean, the new bug that covers the rest of the sneaker looks pretty solid. And like I said, these should be dropping this holiday season. It looks like we're gonna get a decent amount of Kobe's this year. Another 2024 release that I wanna update you guys on, we uh, spoke about it before, but now we actually have a release date, is this pair right here, the Air Jordan 6 Yellow Ochre. These are gonna be dropping on February the 27th. This is the actual shoe, and this is the mock-up that 
that we first saw. So yeah, it's pretty much identical. It's got all of the white leather overlays. It actually looks pretty solid on this pair. Stussy and Nike are going to be teaming up once again for another collaboration. This time it's going to be on the Air Flight 89. Now this collaboration is to commemorate 35 years of this sneaker model. A little bit of a bizarre looking pair of shoes because as you can see, uh, it keeps it pretty standard for the upper, just red with white. However, you do get this random little part of snakeskin over here. These are going to be dropping this holiday season for $160 retail. It looks like Hello Kitty is moving away from Nike and joining Adidas to work on their most hyped sneaker right now. This is the Hello Kitty Adidas Samba 2.0. Now, as bizarre as this collaboration is, the sneaker that they actually came up with is not that bad. For what it is, I mean, it looks relatively cool. You've got a much more chunky, blocky looking midsole. Obviously, you've got embroidered Hello Kitty logos all over the sneaker. You've got black suede overlays. Now, these are the first images that we've seen of this pair of sneakers, so we have no idea when they're actually going to drop. But again, if we get any more information, I'll update you guys. We got some more looks at the next colorway of the Yeezy slide, which is going to be dropping. This is the salt colorway. We are definitely seeing a lot more leaks of different Yeezy sneakers that are going to be upcoming. And I think as of right now, the most likely time that Yeezy is going to be doing their next release with all of the different pairs is looking like it's going to be October. And honestly, this is not a bad colorway by any means. At least it's something different from the freaking granite and just all of the dark gray and black slides that we saw with the last drop. Now this next one is hardly an update, but we finally have some images, if you can even call them that, of the upcoming Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines. Now we've got a lot of specifics about this pair of shoes. We know that it's going to come in all over leather instead of suede or nubuck. Uh, we know that it's supposed to get this really premium treatment. Well, take a look at these first images. I know it's terrible. Like, what even is this? Why are we literally just going so close up on this? Like, why even post this freaking picture? You can kind of tell that this might be somewhat premium leather material. Literally, just with every image, it seems to get closer and closer to the pair of shoes to the point where you can hardly see it anymore. Uh, one thing that I do think is pretty interesting is you can see that this eye stay, uh, this is actually plastic still, which I think was rumored to be leather as well as the rest of the sneaker. I could be wrong about that. We now have a release date, which apparently is going to be February the 17th, 2024. Another story, which you can hardly call a first look, but uh, I guess that kind of is what it is. This pair of shoes right here, this is the Air Jordan 6 Gore-Tex Brown Kel. Again, we're getting a very close up picture. So uh, you just have to use your imagination of a Jordan 6 with this material all over it. And obviously this light tan color spanning the entire upper. Just got some very, very small hits of purple. This pair of sneakers is going to be dropping November the 29th, 2023 for $250. Nike's dropping an Apple move with the Nike Air Force One Pro Max Mid. This pair of sneakers right here, which actually looks pretty bizarre, but I kind of like the way that they've done this midsole. It looks like they've shoved a much bigger air unit in there, or at least a bigger window into the air unit. Other than that midsole, what's really changed about this pair of shoes is the Nike swoosh. These are going to be dropping at some point this year. I don't expect them to be hyped whatsoever. We've got an insanely exclusive pair of Jordan 5s coming up. Take a look at this. These are literally going to come in this box. Yes, that's right, with all of the freaking gold plated details around this solid wooden box. Now this is the Air Jordan 5 Low Clot collaboration, which is going to be limited to only 250 pairs. And every single pair is going to be numbered, even though these have a very strong kind of like Christmas vibe going on with all of the red and green. Uh, it's still a really, really cool looking pair of shoes. Not only are these going to be limited to 250 pairs, but you can only buy them if you are part of the Juice Store Reward Pro program. I think you have to have purchased something from the juice store, which is Clot's, you know, own website uh, within a certain time frame. Speaking of Jordan brand, why don't we just go through the entire Air Jordan release date for the rest of the year. So this one I really wanted to talk about. So remember at the beginning of the year, or maybe even last year, we heard that Jordan brand was going to create this extremely expensive Jordan 1 pack. So this is called the Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Wings, which is supposed to retail at $1,300. They're supposed to be dropping holiday 2023, and we've seen nothing. They've got a style code, they've got a color code, they've got a retail price, they've got a an estimated release date, but we haven't seen anything about this pair of shoes. We've seen zero leaks, even if they're the blurry potato up close ones, 
nothing. This is a rendered image of what they potentially could look like. If we get any more updates, I'll let you guys know because I gotta be honest, I really, really wanna see what Jordan Brand can come up with for a retail price of $1,300. The Imam and your fives are gonna be dropping in two colorways, the black and then obviously the white one, November the 22nd as of right now. We've got the Aqua Sixes dropping on the 7th of October. We've got the Jordan 1 Low OG Metallic Red. These are gonna be dropping October the 13th. The Jordan 1 High Mauve. These are gonna be dropping on October the 14th. Jordan 1 High OG Sat in bread. So these are going to be dropping, which is confirmed by the Nike sneakers app in October, apparently on the 18th. Of course, we got the reimagined Royal ones. These are going to be dropping apparently in November on the 4th. The reverse Georgetown 5s are going to be dropping November the 10th. The Neapolitan 11. These are going to be dropping November the 11th. And we also got the first official looks of the upcoming Jordan 3 Fears, the retro with this pair. Uh, these are set to release on the 25th of November. Then, of course, we got the final Jordan 4 release for 2023 and that is the Craft Olive. These are going to be dropping on the 2nd of December. A very clean pair of threes, the Off Noir. I don't think we have a specific release date in December, but solid, solid pair. The Jordan 11 DMP, or now called the Gratitude. This is also another December release. We've got the Jordan 1 Craft Celadon. These are going to be dropping on the 23rd of December, and that is about it. There's some other ones that we haven't seen just yet, which are supposed to be dropping this year. Couple 14s, uh, some other pairs of twos, the Xmith Gucci ones, <laughs> whatever those are. Right, we've got some more leaks and new images of the upcoming wild cactus plant flea market air flea 2. Definitely a combination of some kind of like sandal looking pair of shoes. They've got some ACG vibes in there and obviously the Balenciaga Defender with just the general shape of these things. Now we also have some images of a black pair which I don't think we saw other than this on foot image. But this is the black pair supposed to also drop this year 2023. There's a couple different ones. The faded spruce colorway slightly more bluish one that little Yadi is wearing over here. Either way, three different colorways apparently of this pair of sneakers is going to be dropping. We've got some more images over here of the box that these things should come in. It's kind of like a hand-drawn Air Jordan box. Right guys, the born and raised Nike SB Dunk Low is now going to actually be released. So we've seen so many different conflicting stories about this pair of shoes. So obviously these were supposed to drop I believe June or July and then the owner of born and raised unfortunately passed away and then of course Nike pulled the release and they were rumored to be cancelled and then they were kind of rumored to release again and now we know for 100% at least as far as Nike is concerned uh, that they are actually going to drop because the commercial that they were making for this pair of shoes which I imagine will end up on social media in some capacity uh, is over here they were wearing this pair of shoes they were shooting this Nike commercial yeah you can see all of these people who are part of this commercial they're all wearing this pair of shoes whether it's with the different laces or just traditionally wear it how it's going to come straight out of the box. I genuinely think it is one of the best dunks that's going to drop this entire year. We don't have any specific release date for this pair but as soon as we do I will update you guys just expect it relatively soon. Mischief is back at it. This time they've taken a quick departure from dropping crazy ridiculous boots and they're actually teaming up with Reebok bizarrely enough. This is the pair right here. It's a pair of Reebok pumps with just a billion different pumps on there. So if we zoom in over here you can see this pair of shoes looks absolutely wild in fact the color blocking kind of reminds me of like a union pair of fours kind of looks like the mischief logo looks like an amazon logo these are probably going to be called like the extra pumped or something like that because there's so many different pump units on here right now we've got no idea when these are actually going to drop the next ambush and nike up tempo is going to be dropping next month so in october uh, this is going to be the black colorway and I believe the pinkish purple colorway with all of the green overlays. We already had a release of this tan and yellow one. Got this pair in and I thought it was actually a lot better than I initially thought. So it's not a bad pair of sneakers by any means. LeVar Ball brought out some of his brand new foam sneakers, which is some of the wildest shoes I have ever seen on somebody's feet. These things look round as hell. Now it's actually really hard just from these images to see like what this pair of shoes is made out of. Like we understand most of the shoe is going to be foam, but what the hell is this? Is that plastic? Is that glass? Is that like what even is that? Either way, there's a couple different colorways. There's these. You've got the three B's on the side for Big Baller brand and you've got a colored vent style air conditioning unit on the front. Apparently these things are coming soon. We have no idea when they're actually going to drop. Speaking of foam shoes and staying within the basketball realm, take a look at these things right over here. This is the brand new Way of Wade Infinity 3D shoe. I don't know whether 
they're 3D printed or whether it is just a foam shoe made out of just normal foam shoe material. It has that kind of way of weight midsole type of design in there. You can see the inside has some ventilation holes. Again, no release date on these either. Right, finally, this is probably a topic for an entire video in and of itself because it is so freaking crazy. Thieves break into Nike store, steal $200,000 worth of merchandise. So this is once again in freaking Memphis. So if you guys haven't been following along with this whole uh, issue that Nike's had with crime it's impacting every single point of their supply chain from retail stores getting looted and just broken into literally pairs of shoes being stolen off of the back of trucks and trains so basically what happened was one of the security guards that was at the Nike facility heard like some noises heard a loud bang and then saw some people offloading shoes from the back of a truck security guard then called up the police the police investigated and then realized that two hundred thousand dollars worth of product was stolen this seems to to be like an ongoing problem. I don't know whether it's just a bunch of different people or whether it's the same group of people that are hitting all of these different facilities. To add to this, Nike actually had to shut down one of their flagship stores in Portland, Oregon after 40 years as theft and violence raged out of control. Literally, this Nike store was having so many theft problems of people breaking in and stealing product that they had to shut the entire store down. Memphis is definitely the hotspot for this to happen because literally this has happened now twice in the span of two weeks. So the last one was $400,000 worth of product that was stolen from uh, the Memphis facility. Before that was $800,000 stolen from the same Memphis facility. And now it's $200,000. If you guys would like to see a full video on all of this, I feel like it'd be really interesting just to look into it myself. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section. But guys, that is today's final story. We do this every single Sunday. And check out this video to find out why I quit my job to talk about sneakers.